Boys, we're 0-6. Back at home this week, getting ready to take on the 3-3 and Tennessee Titans, which means King Henry is coming to town. Now, this Tennessee squad, they've got some holes that we could definitely attack. Pause. Defensively, they're not the same squad. They do have a good pass rush, um, which obviously is our biggest uh, flaw. But I think that we should be able to take advantage of the squad. This is a very winnable game for us. Uh, we just got to build off of we just have to play four quarters of football we play a great first and second quarter and then the second half we just don't show up we've got to play four quarters straight to walk out of here with a dub today coach lovey is talking about the pass rush again coach protection for the quarterback was a major issue this past week as you surrendered a high volume of sacks where do you where do those struggles start you know what? we're gonna blame the quarterback this time the ball has to come out faster or come out period those negative plays make drives nearly impossible to sustain, so whether it's dumping it underneath or chucking it away, it's on the quarterback to get it out. With that being said, with that being said, does that change the game plan this week? No, we're going to we're going to stick to the pass. Passing is a big part of our identity, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. We just have to execute better, learn from what happened last week, and not let it happen again. Talk that talk, lovey. Sky is the limit. Beat the Titans and pass for 300 plus yards. I mean, we passed for 300 yards last week versus the Raiders. I think we could do it again this week versus the Titans. Bonus goal, limiting sacks allowed will give your offensive line a temporary boost. Okay. Obviously, our game plan this week, stop the run. Easier said than done when we're taking on Derrick Henry. We're going to have to stack the box. Look for us to go eight man in the box, no lie. And for our offense, I think we can take advantage of the secondary. It's not that good. Uh, expect Brandon Cook. Brandon Cooks and uh, Brevin Jordan have a big day. This is a winnable game for our Texans. We can beat the Titans. Look for us to stack the box against Derrick Henry. The pass game has to come alive for our offense. We got to open it up with some running first. A very winnable game. We have to manage this clock in our favor. And we'll see this Titans offense first. They're led by Ryan Tannehill at quarterback. Now, again, we're going to be keeping an eye on King Henry. Tannehill, 1,332 yards, eight touchdowns with six interceptions. Uh, a step down in offense this year. They lost a lot of uh, wide receivers this year in free agency and through trade. So Derrick Henry is their guy. Eight, bot, eight men in the box. Let's get to work. All right, first and ten. They come out in the eye form. And we're all over Derrick Henry. Come on. Let's go, D. Second and 11. They go to the gun. Twins to the right. Pass. Oh, and that's Henry out of the backfield. Henry making catches. Oh, God. 32 yards. That's a first. Watch the stretch here. It's the other way. There you go. There you go. Get him to the ground. I honestly feel like we can man up with their wide receivers. Nobody really scares me on this team, except for maybe Robert Woods. Come on, D. Come on. Come on, man. The tight end isn't that fast. All right, first to 10. 10 he'll go into the air again. Looking deep, and he's got Robert Woods wide open. Touchdown. Where is the team? Where is my secondary at? Look at how far off Nelson. It All right, here comes that Texas offense. I love these red jerseys we're rocking today, man. Davis Mills at the helm. You know. 1,516 yards, seven touchdowns, 19 interceptions. He's on his way to breaking the interceptions record in the NFL history. I think we have a chance against this defense, though. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've gotten away from using the coach's suggestions on offense just because they keep calling the same plays over and over again. So hopefully this works out for us. First to 10. Not a good start. Not a good start, Tunsil. He doesn't catch. The All right, Titans take over first and ten. Play action. Oh, make the play, Petrie. That's a pick. Second and ten. Twins left, two tight ends to the right. Pass. And Robert Woods off to the races. First down on a slant. I'm not coming out of that defense. I just can't. I can, we can't afford to let King Henry get loose. First and ten. We can't afford to let him get loose. He got a yard. 
Let's go, second and nine. Four wide, trips left. Henry out of the gun, takes the handoff straight up the middle. Plows through defenders, gets 15, first down. All right, first and 10. Watch the stretch here. No pass. Let's go, defense. Way to get in there. KGH with the sack. God, yo. Eight men in the box, and we can't. All right, we went three and out our last drive. We trail 14 nothing now. Let's go to work. Underneath. All right, second and two. Oh, God, I was trying to hit X, but we'll take the first down. Great job, Davis. He almost fumbled that. First and 10. <laughs> That's unreal, yo. Second and 12, we're rocking at home. Do you see this? There you go, Brevin. Great catch. First down. 14 yards. Hey, watch that blitz coming. First and 10. Good catch. Good catch, Cooks. And we got pushed all the way back. <coughs> First down. Okay, a little dink and dunk. I like it. So after the short completion, it's second and seven. No, God, please, no, no, no. I have no pressure in my face. Why is that throw like that? This team can't catch a break. We just can't. And Grenard is hurt. All right, third and seven. They go trips to the left. First and ten. Empty backfield. Five wide. And he's wide open downfield. Wide open. First and 10. Stretch. Good tackle, Petrie. Third and five. That's a first down for the Titans. Thank you. Great job, Roy. Third and 10. Good stuff. Fourth down. Come on, let's get a block. I need a block right here. Nope. Come on, offense. We got to do something here, man. First and ten. Jordan is A. He ran the route for him. He ran the fucking route for him. Third and go. I no clue where the hell that ball was going. I can't. I can't play this. I cannot play this. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just trash at this game. Maybe I'm just completely butt butt at this game. Just give him the touchdown, Jesus. Like I, I've never been. This, he. <laughs> Third pick. Let's go, man. Let's throw the most picks ever in a game. 
At this point, we're going to give up 100 points. Hello? He doesn't fumble? He's A or B. I don't know how I keep getting bullet passes. I'm not even like holding down. Oh man. Like what row is that? I give up the stick. We put up 32 points. I need some practice, man. I need some practice because I, I can't throw the ball. I can't run the ball. They're deep, like the computer's defense is so OP. I, I this is embarrassing, yo. It's embarrassing. I mean, at least he came back and had himself a day. 399 yards, four touchdowns, six interceptions. Ground game didn't exist. Uh, Brandon Cooks, 199 yards, two touchdowns. I mean, this is all the computer doing that, though. Like, I I did nothing. Green gave up two sacks. Tunsil gave up a sack. Defensively, Owens and Petrie had 11 tackles. Lopez had eight. Harris had seven. One sack from KGH. It is what it is, man. We're 0-7, man. And we're getting ready to take on the Philadelphia Eagles. I, I, I don't know what to do, man. I don't know. I gave up the stick so the computer could play. They put up 32 points. I had the stick. We threw five, six interceptions. I don't know. Am I forcing the ball too much? I, I'm really thinking about moving moving down from all man to all pro just to see what the difference would be. Because um, this isn't enjoyable for me right now. I'm going to be honest with y'all. We'll see what happens next week.